So 9.1.5, more development is happening. And unsurprisingly, because it's 9.1.5, uh, it's all good. Now, mm. is that suddenly stuff that's going to make people, um, you know, big tier care about the game again? No, I don't really think so. I think it's content. It's going to do that. So really, we got to wait for 9.2 and we'll probably find out what that is in a quarter of a year. Maybe, <laughs> maybe two months uh, until people kind of kind of know what's next. Um, so, yes, there's there's that. Yeah, uh, I mean, at least, hey, Legion Time Walking Clip will get people back in. Yeah, or, well, at the very least, it'll give people on the six-month sub still to actually give them reason to log back in and play the game and enjoy it, which I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I will. I'm sure everyone Same. who will yeah. try it actually will enjoy it. I mean, personally, I know I'm looking forward to finding out if I actually enjoyed Legion Mythic Plus as much as I remember enjoying it. That's basically one of the most important things I'm going to do. Let's go, did I really like this or was I enamored by Legion being new and different? And I really hope to find the answer to that when I hop into Neltharians. That's actually, yeah, that's a really interesting point. I, I mm. guess it's just that thing. A Mythic Plus dungeon really feels like a Mythic Plus dungeon and we've had three sort of axe packs in a row of them. Yeah. But that said, I mean, I could get why Blizzard obviously wanted to keep that system going and not throw it in the bin. And you could say that throwing systems in the bin after an expansion is kind of... One of the things they get criticized for. Um, yeah. yeah, maybe M plus just needs to evolve rather than, uh, you know, sort of big change or anything. Certainly would be interesting. I definitely have a lot of thoughts on that, but thoughts that I think people will get at a later stage as opposed to anytime soon. <laughs> They're not quite fully formed yet. Let's, let's uh, put it that way. They're still in the oven. Mm -hmm. Right, well, uh, until Matt is ready with his thought oven, let's go <laughs> to patch 9.1.5. First, let's not do an update. Let's talk about mm. the Mage Tower. Because we thought, right, me and Matt were both, uh, you know, maybe this is just something where we didn't particularly think about it that much. Mm -hmm. And we were just more thinking, like, what is the right policy to have in general? Yeah. And for both of us, we just thought, look, lizards and those artifact skins were just going to be a time-limited thing. So if they said that, and then a whole bunch of people spent a whole bunch of time, you know, prepping their characters, doing all of those things, and then they kind of undo that. We just sort of thought, ah, that's you know not really fair, not really consistent. Whenever Blizzard says something, we should we should believe it. There shouldn't be the ambiguity. Now, what was interesting is apparently that's a extremely uh, elitist statement uh, and all of those things. Um, hmm. We did not say that from any point of elitism. I mean, no. it would be really absurd for me, especially less you, but especially for me uh, to go around acting like a big elitist about the mage tower and, you know, guarding the massive hoard of treasure that I've got from it, which is essentially, you know, next to nothing. <laughs> Cause yeah. I mean, that was that thing. Yeah. It was a solo challenge, but as I said in the, in the last stream, guild had fallen apart. So just can't have proper access to all of that. was just not really a thing, which is why part of why I'm very excited and certainly if you were able to get those artifact, uh, those old artifact skins in this new mage tower, I would be a prime beneficiary of that change. Mm. So it certainly wasn't something we were saying from uh, much of like a personal perspective. Um, how many of them do you have again? Um, I don't remember. I could. I, I'm sure my spreadsheet where I tracked it somewhere. <laughs> Jesus, but um, oh yeah, back when you had, you maintained the spreadsheet. For yeah, all that, yeah. The spreadsheet my characters. I definitely earned all of them on like a couple of classes that i really liked but i at least did one on every class at least yeah at least one on every class oh, like yeah. all paladin i think all druid i think all was it all dk i think it was all the dk ones uh all the warlock ones i think basically quite a lot of them because i had nothing i had, I had nothing but time and the energy to play world of warcraft back then and i did yeah yeah so um right then that's, you know, we were just shooting the shit on the stream. But mm -hmm. sometimes what happens is, you know, the bit of the stream goes to the Clips channel. And that audience can sometimes have a, a different reaction to things yeah. than the live stream audience. Um, you know, some of that's because sometimes a little bit of context can be lost. Yeah. But some of that is just it goes out to more people, right? And uh, it's not a live environment. So it's treated more like a, a video video where mm -hmm. things are a little bit more serious feeling. Uh, you know, whenever something's involved versus live. And uh, just listening to people. I mean, a lot of the comments were really furious at us, which I thought was like, okay, come on. We weren't really being that harsh about it. Um, but it was evidently clear that uh, there was a lot of dissent on this. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, dissent, I mean, versus what Blizzard are, are sort yeah. of planning to do. So I took the Twitter. We did a poll. Uh, Ten and a half thousand people replied to this poll. 
My question was, should the Time Walking Mage Tower award the original artifact skins? And 60% said yes. Now, there were some people that said, you know, well, I had these skins and I would feel a bit betrayed. But there was lots of people, I would say more people, who said, I have most of the skins. I don't care. My achievement has a date on it. So I can always know, and other people can always know if push comes to shove, that I did it when it was uh, you know, sort of there originally. So it's the sort of thing where it's 60-40. Now, 60-40 is a bit rough because, yeah. you know, politically, 60-40 is, a, you know, it's a 20-point spread. It's a political <laughs> landslide. So how is it that you can have a 60-40 spread and, you know, all of society wants to kill the rest of society, right? So 60-40 mm. is by no means a, a massive consensus. Like, ideally, with a, a sort of a game design thing, you would be wanting to push something like our bottom or next poll here, which is more of a, you know, in this case, right? Do you support the return of the Mage Tower? 68%. Come on, you were so close. 68% said yes. 23 neutral, 9% no. So 90.07% were at least fine with the Mage Tower returning. Yeah. Now, when it comes to, you know, a big a game design decision, you certainly want, you're going to feel a lot more confident making a, you know, 68% yes, 23%. Yeah, sure, fine, I don't really care, whatever. You're going to be so much more confident making that call than, you know, making this call up here. And perhaps that is why Blizzard maybe felt a little bit defensive, a little mm. bit like they just wanted to err in the side of not pissing off the people who had already invested the time. Mm. But it does seem to me like... Uh, there could be room for some sort of compromise or something there. Um, it's hard to know exactly what, because I think the werebear, the fell werebear, that's Blizzard trying to come to that compromise. Mm. But I don't think a lot of people were mega happy with it, because it's a fell werebear. It doesn't look like the werebear that sort of people know, mm. and fell. Like, it's so much more prescriptive in terms of the fa fantasy of your character that you're going around as a fell werebear. So I think that's why people weren't particularly thrilled about that. I'm trying to think of options, you know, ways to get out of this that can get more people the thing that they want. Because if 60% of people have said that, uh, you know, they'd be fine with those original skins coming, you know, maybe that indicates that there should be a way for that to happen. Like a lot of people would stand to benefit. Then if it's that 40% saying, no, it's a betrayal. Well, is there a way that you could kind of mitigate the risk of pissing off the 40%? while finding a way to please the 60% more. Um, for some people, they've... I, I've, I mean, I've seen a, a number of different options, like giving a, you know, a unique tint only for mm. the doing it again. Um, one idea I had, because I wanted to try to think of an idea that would be additive for literally everyone. So my idea was kind of like, could you give a unique new tint of that to every player who did it originally? and then just open up the original five for um, being earned, or the original, you know, the original one and then the other unlockable tints uh, via, you know, doing the new one, such that everyone can get the thing that they want, but the people who put the effort in back then do get a little sort of token of appreciation. I think, I'm not exactly yeah. sure. I'm so, not really married to anything. But. Yeah, so on that one, I think that kind of hits to a more fundamental issue where I don't think it's the specifics. Maybe for a lot of people, they do want a very specific skin, and that's why they're kind of relevant. Like, actually, I thought I would, you know, I heard it was coming back. I yeah. thought I could do it. But I think it's more the principle of uh, the, the I missed it. I want a chance to get it. Why Why can't I? The not yeah. understanding, or not, not the not understanding as if they're stupid, but the not understanding as if they don't agree with the principle that they shouldn't get it because it's mm. because the, they disagree with the idea of FOMO. They're like, well, it's that's the same fair. content. Why Actually, can't I get the same thing? And I feel like anything that, uh, rewards <laughs> anything that rewards because I actually like the idea of unique tint for the people who have already got it and then open up those tints again I think that would be like a kind of cool way to do it but then you fall into the same problem of going past the principle of no I want everything that I can earn in this game why am I not allowed to earn it I think it's the, the problem is I think people disagree with that yeah. which I generally do lean towards agreeing with from that perspective it's like See, yeah. a, a lot a lot of my perspective is that it's the integrity of the game is the integrity of what blizzard say as opposed to yes. the kind of as opposed to you know f I, w I would never say ah yeah fomo's fine work away i mean there's maybe worlds where that's feasible i mean head of the curve hall of fame stuff like that but 
Yeah. So I, I was there with you in the whole, like, the integrity of the game, Blizzard saying what they say, you know, that actually mattering. Yeah. Um, there was one comment that did interest me that was basically saying, okay, so you're saying that they should limit it to, you know, they shouldn't bring bring back those rewards. But then you said, what if you, you know, I think I'd mentioned, like, you know, add things to chromie time over time. Hmm that's not logically consistent. Whereas I thought that like, that's kind of missing for me. That was like missing the point of, well, no, for the Legion thing, I don't actually agree with the principle, but I think they should honor their word. But going yeah. forward, doing new things, those should always stand to the game and not have an aspect of FOMO. Yeah. Um, now on that, there is a potential out of Blizzard really wanted it and was willing to decrease the size of that 40% bar via trying to make an argument. What they could do is they could say that the reason why that stuff is going to be no longer obtainable is that in the next expansion, you would get new gear, you'd be a bunch of levels higher, you'd be so much more powerful, so you could go back and absolutely cakewalk face roll the Mage Tower if they left it in the game. But because it's coming back with a scaling system, they could say that on further evaluation, listening to community feedback in the issue and play testing rigorously, trying to compare the difficulty of the two versions, they have realized that really the difficulty of the new version is in line with the original vision so that anybody who earns it now you know, they it, 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 basically the reasoning of like, you know, gear and time makes it irrelevant is gone. Therefore, it's okay to offer those. And then maybe they could say, we understand the, the FOMO aspect here. And going forward, we will endeavor to make these systems evergreen and not involve FOMO aspects so that you can be sure that content additions and rewards will always stand to the game in perpetuity. I think there might be a way for them to make a statement like that and convert more people to the 60%, sort of reduce some of those feelings of not being yeah. particularly pleased, and perhaps at least create more neutrality on the issue. They could do that. I, I can't tell you whether that would actually work. Um, mm. Like, sorry, I, I can't tell you if that's like actually going to be okay with players, but that's like one idea. I suppose there's multiple ways forward that could potentially please more people. I mean, that's I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy to get those mythic recolors. I think they look great. So I, I, you know, that's enough of a reward for me to go and do the content again. Yeah. But certainly, you know, you could almost see a, a weird reality of actually no. In a world where time walking was uh, actually just there forever, or this mage tower could be done at any point in time, you could sort of say, you know, if you complete the challenge in all three specs, you unlock the mythic tint. Hmm. You know, they, they could have totally done that. And then this would have been just the sort of, you know, reward system in the game where it's really hard, takes a bunch of work, and that's just that for a long, long time. But if they were to change it to be a reward like that, then obviously people would be like, oh yeah, but you were you were going to give us the class tit for only doing it in one spec. So mm. that's a downgrade for me. So I'm, I'm not sure. I guess maybe there's just an argument that they could have got a little bit more out of it. But all of this is just yeah. made complicated by how it's a part of a time walking weekend. Well, you know, weekend they last a week, twice yeah. a year. Yeah, it's it's one of the weird things where I think like very rarely have Blizzard got an issue that genuinely splits the vast majority of the community. I think mm. it's very very rare that this occurs, and hopefully they're watching and they know what not to like, just not to do that again, or not to mess with any capacity. Whether that'll be pure FOMO going forward or that'll be removed FOMO entirely. I feel like uh, hopefully they're paying attention to this and can see if there are metrics that people are generally not super pleased. But, but then yeah. the, one of the things I find interesting about uh, a situation like this is even the people who are happy aren't happy because they have to spend all of their time and energy defending why they're happy to people. So it's like it doesn't do anyone any favors. It's not like yeah. the, it's not like there's a there's people standing on top of like the, the you know the, they're beside the victory flag dancing going yeah we got our way you didn't dumbasses it's just people going well, no so. yeah it's people going no we're right no we're right and that's, I was like yeah that's why Twitter in a fucking nutshell <laughs> holy yeah. shit that place has got really people are really angry these days at it um, yeah 
So there could be a way to do this better, is, yep. is basically our point. Um, now there's a few things like, you know, there's, I think there's a few people in, in chat talking about the Scarab Lord. I'd say, you know, things like the Scarab Lord, let's not play around too much with things that are like almost mythical. <laughs> but I think that because the Mage Tower yeah. is so, uh, you know, is, is relatively speaking so recent, yeah. I think you get away with it a little bit more. Uh, another thing that's a little bit more recent that I was thinking about is the, the Mr. Panaria challenge modes, right? So I've got the yeah. Hunter challenge mode. And not a lot of people That's, have those challenge modes. I certainly don't. Um, I really enjoyed doing the mop challenge mode um, and just in some of the downtime. I mean, come on, the 14 months after Siege of Orgrimmar. Um, you know, did that with the old guild. We had a blast. It was really, really cool. And I suppose I was thinking to myself, you know, I would not care if somebody could get that again. Hmm. Um, like, I was not advocating for the Mage Tower stuff being restricted because of any personal stuff. It was literally just, this was word should mean something. Um, but yeah, as, as somebody who got that challenge mode and mop, like if they revamped the mop time walking and just have the mop challenge mode be there, let people get the reward, I'd be totally happy with it. Why not add a few tints in as well or change it up, do something extra? I mean, there's so many. Those, see those challenge mode sets for mop? Like there are so many tints of those that exist and just are not used. It's like, why? Come on, let's, let's do something with that. So... Yeah, there's there's certainly so much that could be done with all these time walking events and just yeah. the historical content in the game. Yep. I think it is just a really big question of how do they do it and how do they deal with the whole twice per year problem? We've <laughs> talked about at length in the stream yeah, before. Yeah, I will say there's one specific thing that's very different about the uh, challenge mode stuff, and that is something that I think, uh, given given the video we published this week, something worth considering, which is. That especially if mid shark comes back and it's hard as hell, it's 7.1 hard, you're going to run into people who want rewards but aren't able to actually earn them through their own gameplay. Which, well, if something's hard, it should be that way, but the CMs were carryable, they were boostable. So it's like, it's kind of the same as, you know, you don't see someone with a head of the curve and go, oh, I know you're a proven heroic raider. You don't, you don't look at some yeah. of the challenge modes and go, oh, I know you were good enough to earn that. There's always, even if it wasn't as popular back in the day as it is now, there's still that flicker of doubt of, oh. And to be fair, that still sort of exists with Mage Star based on the 7.3 stuff. But it was it's, it was easy, but you still had to be vaguely competent to get it. Yeah, for me, I guess... Uh, I, I would get it, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, that will make Blizzard more money via WoW token. <laughs> and that will mean more boosting and all of that um boosting is a problem it's also in a way genie we can't stuff back in the bottle and i certainly would never use it as a reason not to do something oh yeah we wouldn't suggest that no so that's yeah that's maybe something to think about mm. um i mean if you if you were to take what a lot of the boosting community say where they're like well hey boosting actually drives a lot of gameplay I mean, shit, then it actually just dri it drives both more gameplay and more revenue from Blizz, so I guess they're happy uh, yeah. about that. Yeah, well, I should I should maybe maybe pause to kind of uh, to elucidate that because we've published part one of Boosting, but part two is not yet. Yes. So, one, so when you say there that it drives a lot of gameplay, that's literally true, but at least my hypothesis and something that we'll be sharing very, very shortly once the video is done, uh, then the, the hypothesis is that Boosting drives gameplay, but the uh, the reason it drives gameplay is because the game lacks certain things, and the you know it's it basically it's all Blizzard's fault, essentially because the game lacks things, and that's why people boost. A little bit of that I might get into a little bit later when I'm talking about extrinsic versus intrinsic yeah. stuff in the research because that's kind of a lot of the problem. But plus, yeah. also look at Destiny Two. Yep. Destiny Two is a game with a very similar end game structure to World of Warcraft, and Destiny Two also has a lot of boosting going on. Mm -hmm. so that's uh, i suppose another thing to think about yep so that's that with the mage tower they have uh you know they've, they've not really uh given us an update on this i think it's clear the community's got a lot of split opinions i mean it's not split <laughs> down the middle but it's enough that it's a, a split that you will feel in the discourse where a consensus is hard to form yeah and that's always a little bit of yeah, a rough position to be in yeah it's it's not enough for the osrs uh devs to make a decision what do they require again? I think it's 70% plus. 70 I think so. I couldn't be sure on that, but I think it is. Yeah. So 
I suppose that's it. Because if you have a 70% consensus, yeah. then maybe the losing 30, because it's not exactly like literally politics. Maybe yeah. they'll be like, well, okay, more people do prefer that thing. I'll go along with it. Maybe that does help to build consensus. But when it's just so in the middle, then yep. uh, yeah, so it's, it's a wee bit more messy. So mm. that's that going on. I hope we get to some sort of solution that makes people happy. That's all I can say. And if that does mean that people don't feel super betrayed and mm. all of those mage tower rewards can be got again, and it's a situation where I could get all my artifact weapons and also earn some like mythic tier appearances, I would be very uh, excited. <laughs> I think that would be really cool. So yep, um, absolutely. certainly that. Okay. Yep. Of ah, course. 75%. 75. For OSR 75, yeah. Cheers. <laughs>